Hello again, everyone. I wanted to do a little bit of an unboxing, although I've already taken this out of the box, <laughs> but it still has its packaging. Uh, a little bit of an unboxing for a Chic Sparrow product that's fairly new. This is their Ginger Tote. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in here. Let me make sure that the invoice and everything is out of the way. It always comes with this uh, warranty card. This is one that I probably will um, and a little heart sticker. This is one that I probably will fill out the warranty information for and keep that handy. Okay, and there's my invoice. All right, so this might be a little too big for the camera, but I will move it around if necessary. So, oh, this is actually really a great size. So one of the reasons why I got this, even though I'm not really using bags of of a larger size lately is that um, uh, return to the office is on the horizon. So I wanted to have a bag that would be good for that. Um, and I thought this would be um, for a variety of reasons. And I'll tell you why. And I also really liked this design with the zippers because uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of the open tote. Um, especially if I'm going to be traveling, you know, I don't know if I'll travel with this bag, but, um, but I've had, I've had, I've had like a wallet stolen out of my bag before in public transit when I had an open tote. So I've been a little bit hesitant to, uh, use that. Although now that I'm living in Colorado, I'm not using public transit as much, but, uh, let's go ahead and go into the features. I mean, Chic Sparrow put out a really great video where they talked about um, the design features of this, but I thought I would go over it again. Uh, the color is showing up maybe just a little bit lighter for you than it's showing up in person, and that partially could be from my light I have overhead. Let me see if I turn off the overhead light. Yeah, um, yeah, and it's still showing up a little light without the light on. <laughs> Um, but this is a little bit more accurate, I think. Um, maybe not. I'm going to turn back the, I'm turning the light back on. There we go. I think this is actually more accurate now that I've seen the two together. All right. So it has this front pocket, which I love. I love the zipper that it has on the front pocket. So you've got a really nice deep pocket there. I would probably put my keys, my ID badge, and a phone in that front pocket because those are the things that I access the most. And then um, it has really nice long straps. I mean, they're not super long. This is not a crossbody, but uh, they're long enough, I think, to be pretty comfortable. And then it has this zipper on the top. It's probably a little awkward because... <laughs> because of the size of this um, zipper opens really easily. And then inside there's three compartments here. So three larger compartments. So there's one here, there's one here. And then is this sewn? It's not sewn on the bottom. This, this little thing in the middle is not sewn on the bottom. So you could have things that go from compartment to compartment if they're small. Um, but in the middle here, it has this zippered, section and that is closed at the bottom so if you want to keep little things from running away in your bag you can keep them here and then there is another pocket here which is closed at the bottom again um, I just I really like having organization in my bag so although I do use my Chic Sparrow uh, totes I usually am using them um, just you know to bring things from one place to another for like like art supplies to bring for my nephew or my niece or something like that. So that's usually what I'm using the larger tote for. Uh, I probably wouldn't travel with it because of the open top. This one, and you know, the, the prior problems I've had with people stealing things out of my bag. But uh, because this does have a zipper, it's really, it's really nice. Um, and I love this leather. So this is the uh, Waypoint Denali leather which is sort of a darker brown oh and the bottom is it doesn't have any stiffness in the bottom but it does because it has a seam here on either side it does i think it will keep its shape somewhat so that's you can kind of see the bottom rectangular shape um and then of course seams on either side i think this will uh wear really well 
as usual with the waypoint leather you know you can smoosh it up and get variation in there and i did actually get out my waypoint folio my b6 slim folio and you can see here that this is a little bit lighter than the bag is and that's i wanted to show some variation too and someone had asked to see this waypoint uh, b6 slim cascade folio as well so i just thought i would show it and it also shows the variation in leather it's not it's not extreme i mean this is just a little bit lighter and maybe warmer in tone maybe i don't know maybe it's probably the same tone but it is a little lighter than uh, the bag so so there's some variation and that always depends on the hide and you know a variety of things but uh so you could get one that's lighter like this or you could get one that's darker like this i love this color for a bag because i think it's timeless and you know it's never going to go out of style um i have not used this b6 slim folio yet as my everyday carry but it's going to go into the rotation i'll show you my setup currently which is this b6 slim uh, scout folio and I'm really really liking this setup um, I've I've started so I have a Jaboon Techo in here which I've actually put the back cover there and the front cover in the the uh, I don't know, folio pockets I don't know what you call these but anyway I put I slipped it into the front and back <laughs> and then I have a uh, Jaboon Techo mini zipper thing in the back here which is really great for holding a variety of things and I can also put my pen loop on here without worrying about damaging the leather or my notebooks um that's all I really want to show you today about that but um and then I have a little collections notebook there I can go into more detail but I think I've I've gone over this setup a lot on the channel so I don't want to go over it too too much because this is really about the ginger bag but this is pro this is what I'm using for now and it's really been kind of hard for me to move out of it because it's so durable it's really it's not heavy um but I may you know switch into this one because they're the same size and um see how that goes because I really like the feel of this one too but I think this also goes pretty well with this and it would definitely fit in the bag so uh easy to carry around my everyday carry b6 slim folio uh, I don't think it would fit in the front pocket, but what I probably would do is put it, oh, okay, it's closed now, open that up, and then I would put it, you know, in one of these side pockets here. And supposedly this fits a laptop too, but I'm not sure how big of a laptop would fit in here. Um, it'll probably, let me put my get my iPad mini here which is essentially like an A5 size so that would also fit there and I've got plenty of room here and here in the zipper pocket so lots of options with this one all right let me take that out so great bag it does have a bit of a strong smell that I did notice uh, it seems stronger than the notebook because this one hmm I don't know maybe it's about the same but it just maybe because it's more leather it was more noticeable but um that this did seem and it didn't smell bad it just smelled of leather like really strongly i don't know i think this smells just a tad bit more chemically than this one this one smells a little more woody if that makes sense and then this one has a little bit more of a chemical smell, but it's not overwhelming and I'm pretty sensitive to smells. So I don't think this would bother me. Um, leather, for some reason, most leathers have not bothered me unless they really have like a super chemically smell. This one does not have a smell that would bother me. Let's just say that. All right, well, I think that's all I had for you today. Feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. I hope to see you next time, but in the meantime, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.